Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to Warriors RG3 Ultimate. I decided to play the original Warriors RG3 opening. Because, uh... It's more accurate to playing the original story, which we're going to be doing first. It's been a while since I played this game, and this is a very long one, so... It's probably gonna take a while. Uh, since I played as Yugi Mora last, Hanzo and Kanoichi. Now, it's a bit difficult to uh, decide on an order to play this game, because, uh... Okay, I see, I played the DLC last. Wow, I forgot how many DLC stages there were of this. <laughs> uh, if I play the DLC, that alone is gonna take so many hours. Uh oh, jeez. Anyways, but yeah, just look at this timeline. It starts with Chapter 7, <laughs> and then Chapter 3, and then Chapter 1. Uh, it's a bit of a mess to figure out the chronological order in this game when there's time travel involved. But, uh, the actual first stage that you normally play first when you start the game is this one. <laughs> this awkward stage in the corner of Chapter 4. So, starting at Chapter 4, <laughs> I'm gonna play as the recommended team for this. This is the starting team to risk with the main characters of this game. Is that how children run nowadays? Or I guess back then. I shouldn't say nowadays, considering how old this, they all would be. Oh, they ran like goblins. I like how there's peace in South Tower Nobunaga are just fighting for the sake of it. And they just wanna. They're into this. Yeah, people can die, it's fine. Please talk over cutscenes. I am. At least this one, because there's not really any dialogue, it seems. Oh yeah, I guess this cutscene shows that Sunjia and, Uji and Ujiasu are friends. Because you don't really see that in the first uh, two games, considering Ujiasu wasn't playable. And Jin essentially didn't exist. Hydra shows up and just starts eating a castle. It really just ends there? What an awkward place to end that cutscene. I probably shouldn't wait for the narrator to finish reading all this, because it's going to take him forever. These several years after the war against the Serpent King Orchi, the heroes of China and Japan found themselves faced with the threat of extinction once again. A massive monster appeared before them, threatening to cover the entire land itself. Resembling a giant serpent with eight heads, it attacked castles and devoured entire towns. Just eight towns outright. In addition, the demonic Kimori Taira had been revived and gathered numerous followers beneath them. Working together with this Hydra, they attacked mankind with a vengeance. Those humans that survived the threat looked past their differing homelands and came together as one. However, there were few survivals left in the wake of the massive Hydra, as the humans were dealt countless death defeats by the demon army. <laughs> Mute the narrator. I don't think I have an option to do that. When faced with such a hopeless situation, the humans left with only one possible solution, to sneak into the demon's main camp and defeat the Hydra, no matter how desperate that strategy might seem. Yeah, just, just go over there and punch it. I guess punch it eight times for each head. That'll do it. Together, the three surviving heroes, Ma Chao, Sima Zhao, and Hanbei Takanaga, looked to carry out their plan, even if it meant preparing for a fight to the death. How did those three specifically end up being the last survivors? Now, do I talk over this as well? <laughs> Sounds in narrator time. <laughs> So you're saying we have to fight against this thing that can swallow an entire castle. Although we may have little hope of victory, there is no other choice. We must fight to reclaim our future. This is our greatest chance for survival. I can read this a lot faster than I can. Don't give up hope. Together our combined might will enable an opportunity to present itself. Well, I suppose there's not much else we can do. Okay, let's give it a shot then. The owning have been fully equipped. What do I have Simu Jiao equipped with? Uh, Lion's Fane, Jamer Shell, Phoenix Wing, Dragon Spleen. 
they just need life in there, so. There's a whole bunch of items in this game. A lot of them don't really have useful effects. So I just stick to the basic ones. Yeah, just increase my stats, please. And I'm pretty sure I had a red hair saddle on everyone. Wow, there's only four saddles, huh? <laughs> one is a bear. It's the only standout one. Like, elephant's, like, not really that standout when it's in so many games. And then Matsukaze is this, but, I mean, red hair is better. <laughs> Alright, get ready to fight a ton of Orochi generics. We're gonna see so many of them. Probably should have checked my weapons first. Ah, well. UC Iron Gauntlets. I think I recall them being good. I don't remember what they do. <laughs> I love the EX slide of his. The Super Gel is... He's a power type, isn't he? It feels like he should be able to double jump, considering he could in Dynasty Warrior 7. Yeah, I'm gonna assume everyone's already played this before, or at least it's familiar with Warrior's Archie. Oh, let me know if the game audio is too low. It looks a little low to me. I haven't seen anyone complain about it yet. This so is for Dynasty Warriors characters. Don't take out your entire Miserwar, but for Samurai Warriors, it will. Ow. <laughs> right, everyone has new R1 attacks from what they had from the previous Warriors Origin game. And since we're playing Ultimates, they have Air R1s as well. They're also nice because they give you iframes. Team Jao's Air R1 really looks like his Dynasty Warriors 8 Air Muso attack. Like with the sword swings right there. One gene just got taken out. Thought he was a little low, but you don't want to hear the Japanese anyway, so. Okay. Uh, Pedro said it was fine. I'm not saying anyone complain about it, so. I think, yeah, Ma Chao is a speed type, which is weird. I feel like he did that just to make him different from the first game, where he was a power type. Alright, the Dynasty Warriors characters that had, like, clone movesets have new charge attacks. Like, Ma Chao's charge 1 is more reminiscent of his original charge attack in uh, the original Dynasty Warriors games. His R1 is just a kick. Iron Gauntlet's making it so the enemies can't interrupt your charge attacks. Okay, yeah. Never had too many issues with that, though. I think that's why I mostly don't use them. Alright, now let's take out the Hydro of this Ballista. Ballistas were always broken in Dynasty Warrior 7, so this should be easy. Let's see my Wayne got taken out. Everyone's dying. It is damaging it. You know, it's, it's gonna take a while, but we can do it. This thing is indestructible, right? Yeah, so you can just tank a fireball. We got nothing to worry about. And now it's a shoot 'em up. Time for a genre change. Yeah. <laughs> just a couple more hours of this. It's just one head, by the way. 
Oh, uh, never mind. And yes, the Ballista does have to be destroyed for the stage to actually continue. You can't just ignore it. I've tried before. Yeah, my child's charge 5, and I believe it's charge 6. I've also changed. He kept the charge 1. I think his charge 4 is the same as well. From Dance Warrior 7. Searing all your generics die horribly. I believe in general Samurai Warriors characters are better just because uh, they can use charge attacks one after the other. So they can trigger a lot more elemental attacks. But yeah, see Hanbei's R1. He just flies around on his yo-yo thing. It's it's pretty ineffective, honestly. I say as it shreds the sending officer. It's really easy to get interrupted, though. Better just ignore it and use his regular attacks. The air R1 is alright. His air R1 is one where, like, the higher up you are, the more attacks you'll get off. I think it does that all the way to the ground. Now, what button calls a horse to me? Up on the D-pad. Can I hold? Yes! Awesome! I can hold the call horse button automatically mounted. Great. I'm glad we're finally up to the games that allow you to do that. It took them forever to include that feature into these games. It's kind of weird playing Macha with a different Dance Warrior 7 moveset now. Because I'm so used to- in Dynasty Warriors 8, he's the only one that keeps the generic sphere moveset, so I'm used to the generic sphere moveset just being his moveset. Oh yeah, whenever you're playing like a stage in this, you can occasionally find like an EXP fever item, which makes it where enemies drop a bunch of EXP when defeated. So that's sort of encouraging you to get a ton of kills. Oh, when all your characters are at level 100, hardly matters. Helico, thank you for the three months. Where's the Burger King in this game? Unfortunately, not here. You'll have to settle for Wincho's big KFC. No one's gonna get that reference. Okay, at least this one had the decency to get destroyed a lot quicker. I forgot they make you get on two ballistas. And yeah, your actual attacks won't do a thing to the Hydra. Even if you could reach it. Do you have air musos in this? Now, I think that's where its characters just have one muso. I guess her movesets are a little worse. They use his air muso? What is it? Okay, just a spitting dive attack. Alright. You can do some, like, switch change combo attacks if you do it with a charge attack and then switch characters. There's no cooldown in that, you can just do it whenever you want. A thousand KOs on the first stage. Beyond the Galaxy is $10. Thank you. Thanks for the mountain tip. I've played on and off for eight years. Oh, you never knew that? <laughs> or you may have knew it, known it before and just forgot. Right, and you can also press... L2 and R2. And into this, uh, I forget exactly what this is called, like, Trinity State or something. 
You can attack enemies, get a bunch of free hits in, or just run around and tap a bunch of enemies. And then you'll collect them all for a big attack at the end. Very safe and very damaging. Also, it gives you a bunch of crystals, which you can use for something. I forgot what. Let's try using Han Wei's Muso. Now, you can just use his regular Muso and hold circle, but it's not elemental. Or, you just attack normally, and with Osmosis, get all your Muso back. And while a Samurai Wars character is using a Muso, they're just invincible. So, there's a bunch of enemies you can keep regaining your Muso from. You can just be invincible for the entire damn stage. Hanbei is also a wonder type, so he's able to press X and dash in the middle of combos. It counts as an attack and essentially resets him so he can keep up pressure on an enemy. Wonder is the new type that was added for Warzone 3. Oh yeah, you can do Trandy on the horse as well, yeah. Horse Trandy. I don't feel bad talking over cutscenes when they're not doing anything, they're just standing there gasping. Everyone's okay. Yeah, there's only three people left alive, but sure. Yeah, for seeing something like that Hydra, I find that meeting a mystic isn't that shocking. Are you able to help us? Yes, I believe I can. However, at your current strength, I am afraid that you are no match for the Hydra. We gathered that. You must travel back in time and increase your numbers. I shall help you in order to do so. Um, I'm not sure we understand what it is you're trying to say. If I tried to put it into words, it would only confuse you even more. Here. Allow me to show you. Ah, a loading screen, alright. <laughs> or a result screen, whatever. Now, do we actually get a cutscene or anything for this? Now, I think what happens in the game is that you get dropped into the main camp, and then you talk with Kaguya for a bit. Unfortunately, we can't really see those scenes without outright playing the whole game over again. And then I wouldn't be able to play as, like, all the characters I have unlocked. I'd be stuck with, like, just these three for the starting stages for, like, the longest time. Anyways, this is when we go to Chapter 1 and we start following the timeline in a more traditional manner, just going straight right. Until we get to beat Chapter 2 and then we go back in time even further. <laughs> Okay, but let's uh, go with the Battle of Yiling. Uh, should I stick with the current team? I'll have to, like, actually back out and raise the touchpad to bring up the battle preparations. Yeah, so I have all these characters available, so... I'm just gonna pick some people at random to play this time, just for variety. Uh, let's see... This is a shoe stage. Hey, you know what? Oh, going on's only level 51. <laughs> you know what? Fine. <laughs> no, don't cancel change. Just keep them. It's going on's weapon. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess a lot of the characters I don't have uh, maxed out so aren't gonna have uh, fully fleshed out, we fleshed out weapons. 
Which, uh, is a bit annoying, because then it means I have to go to the blacksmith every single time. Upgrade their weapons. Uh, let's see. Probably as upgraded as I can make it with the weapons I currently have. Yeah, all those seem fine. Let's see, uh, you can also distribute growth points to characters, like you could in the past games. I have a lot, but you'll drain it pretty quickly trying to level up characters. 80 is probably good. And just get levels actually playing the next stage. It's gaming time, yes. Okay, here's the cutscene for it. I guess normally it just plays immediately after you clear the first stage. Screens like that always feel so awkward. There's <laughs> just no way to do them right. The ability to travel back in time, the Mystic Kaguya possessed unbelievable power. However, Macha was willing to try anything. Previously, Macha and his friends fled when the Hydra attacked and destroyed Chu, but they were ambushed when they arrived at Yiling. There, his friends gave their lives to help him escape, leaving him as a lone survivor. They tried to get him to escape, and then he just came back anyways. This time, he would make sure that everyone would live through the encounter. Machao could not stop thinking about his companions as he traveled back to the past due to Kaguya's godly powers. Yep, this is Yi Ling. Alright, you gotta hit level 100 before you gain access to two extra whip slots. Right. Alright, and they're like these uh, mission things you can accept to increase bonds. I normally avoid like the life gauge ones. Resurgence 3 is a lot of good music. That was a weird noise to immediately make my die. The moment you get screen time. I call Shao Doon being really damn good. I've always enjoyed playing as Shao Doon. There are some unique lines between characters and stages like there were uh, there was in Warriors Archie 1 and 2, but way less. And they're nowhere near as funny as they were. Who does R1 is? Oh nice, it launches him into the air so you can chain it into his air R1. Man, that'd have been awkward in the original War 33, where it just launched him into the air and then you didn't really have a follow-up attack for that. At least not a good one. And suddenly, we're fighting Konoichi? What? Alright, Motonari can just buff itself with his R1. Just give him auto death element. Alright, 
Yeah, Kimori had Kunoichi under mind control at first, but uh, apparently wore off when she was defeated. As is the case with most things in the Warriors world, you can solve anything through violence. It was Motonari's Air R1S. Yeah, I remember him having one like that where he just rains arrows down, and boy, that lasts for a while. I remember Motonari also being really good in this. And here we got the big man himself. Everyone has Mystic Weapons equipped because uh, I made guides for getting Mystic Weapons before. So I had them for everyone, so I may as well use them all. The yeah, game took a while to load that. Those guys were 20 years ago, how time flies. <laughs> I don't think this game is 20 years old. God, I hope it's not. No, it literally can't be. <laughs> I'd be like nine when the game came out then. The Goemon's R1. <laughs> he just bounces around and fires the cannon twice. He nearly falls over both times. Air R1 is surprisingly tame despite using fireworks. Alright, I think his uh I think his butt slam attack is elemental. Need to hit some enemies to find out. I can't tell if it is, but it does do quite a lot of damage. I guess everything will on first difficulty stages. I don't use the triple attacks too much because you can kind of just abuse those. I've been playing so much Sengoku Basra lately, whenever I hear this voice, I just think of Masamune. <laughs> Instead of Shadow Dune. I don't need to use this on one guy, but I specifically want to waste it for Motonari. Because I want to see how quickly he can build up the Trinity Gauge. I recall him being able to build it up very quickly. I think his, uh, his Muso attack is really good at doing that. I want to get a decent group of enemies, though. We got a pretty good return just from using the Trinity attack itself. Oh yeah, look how quickly that's going up. If I had more enemies, it would be fine. Oh right, he has Verity, so he ends with a big Muso attack. Yeah, that filled up. One Muso from him can fill it up. So then you can just Trinity again, and as you're in the middle of the Trinity, use the elemental attack with him. I can land one. Or if there were enemies around, I could actually hit with them. Then you could build up Muso while the Trinity's going on. And essentially, Motonari is invulnerable or invincible for the entire stage. Yeah. One charge four gains almost half of his Muso bar back. 
focused on a small group of enemies. His arrow one gives him a ton of coverage. Forgot how good he was, honestly. <laughs> I think Goemon, yeah, Goemon's still missing a charge 5 attack. Because this is just straight up Samurai Warriors 1 Goemon, with no alterations to his moveset whatsoever. Ow! <laughs> just ran him over. Ow, stop it! Stop bullying him! <laughs> Okay, just butt slam them all to death. How about that? Not elemental, but great coverage. Ah, there he goes. He has to, like, aim his, uh, his wobbling around, actually. Shoot the cannons where you want them to go. Kiyomori's just like, finally, I killed one. Kiyomori sounds like Whitebeard. Is that his, uh, that's the same voice actor? <laughs> one guy dies and just LMAO in the chat. <laughs> How doing I recall being good because you can just do his charge three attack like instantly if you just tap it. Which is two elemental attacks back to back with also really good coverage. I hate when you try to call the horse and you just see it glitching out of the map and not approaching you at all. It is the same voice actor. Okay, cool. Back when I was first playing this, I never really paid attention to Japanese voices. It was kind of just in one ear and out the other. Oh, now you're here, horse. <laughs> It's a bit annoying you can get interrupted during the startup for an R1. Well, the actual attack is out, you're fine, though. I, I do wish Motonari's other moves were better. He has surprisingly little range for a guy with a crossbow, with a lot of his attacks. Right, there's also Absorption. Uh, that's an element you can apply to a weapon. I don't remember what all elements I have on these characters. But uh, Absorption allows you to recover HP just by attacking a group of enemies. But for characters I actually play, I tend to not have that equipped. Because it's too broken. And enemies can still drop health anyways, and you recover health just by having characters in the uh, reserve slot. When I played this, I essentially just intentionally nerfed myself just to make it a bit uh, more challenging. I think Gloomine might have, uh, might have, what is it called? Oh, shit! <laughs> I press select and start at the same time. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> oh. 
Because, like, the touchpad is the start button, and <laughs> I'm pressing the, uh, the the top right, like, the options button, thinking that's going to be start, but options doesn't do a damn thing in this. Oh. <laughs> I was almost done with that, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck. All right, well, I guess I'll use different characters now. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, random. W random again. Okay, sure, you. Random. I already played as you. Random. Looming good. Random. Gardening works. Either weapons are. Yeah, they seem fine. Alright, let's try this again. <laughs> Uh, I was just trying to pause the game to check something. <laughs> Scroll over Guanzo and someone's just screaming, No! <laughs> I guess Lu Ming just has the regular Pike movesets. I remember, who did he share the Pike moveset with in Dynasty Warrior 7? Xu Huang? Mm, Xu Huang has his great ads in this game. So many people waiting for this game, and I just do that. <laughs> ah, I really feel bad about that. Joined late, what'd you miss? Uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, nice. Swimming also has an air, uh, R1 air combo. Gan Ning has a lot of range with his, uh, his, what is his weapon called? I guess just Sickle. Game Sickle. He's a lot of range and it's really fast. I feel like I could beat this stage just by staying on horseback. Right, and I believe Gan Ning retained the original Chain Scythe moveset as well, and Josh Hsu is the character that got a bunch of new moves. There's another one that feels odd because he retains the Chain Scythe when he still still has it in where he's 8. So it goes from regular Chain Scythe movesets to a modified one back to the regular one. It feels like they should've just made new moves for Gan Ning instead, you know? We saw that before, so. Good to see Huang, uh, Huang Zhong die again. I almost said Huang Kai. They got lazy with God Ning's ground R1 and his air R1. This is basically the same move. And this guy is Shenlong. I feel like his name should be Shenlong or something, but whatever. The Warriors Archery exclusive character. He was added uh, in Warriors Archie 3 Hyper, I think it was called. It was the version that was released on the Wii U. Because that happened at one point. 
He's essentially got a Dinosaur Warrior 7 moveset. And he attacks with clamps. Shinong is a plant type Pokemon. Okay, that's as he gets attacked. I'm not sure what it does. I think he can, like, tag enemies with his other charge attacks, and then that will, like, make him explode or something. He's not a very exciting character to play, honestly. His moveset is not very... flashy, I guess. <laughs> he just kind of pokes things and then plants spring out from the ground. <laughs> wow, he attacks with grass. How original. <laughs> favorite game is Plants vs. Zombies. Sure. His Musa was just... Use a big plant. Pressing L2 to try and call the horse to me. That's that's not what does it in this game. Ease, yeah, just four swings in the horseback will kill an officer. On a level one stage. And there he goes. <laughs> Obligatory shit on the lead joke. He is a healer. <laughs> That's actually pretty apt. <laughs> the Warriors game I've been playing lately is Samurai Warriors 3 Empires, and in that, there's no uh, soft reset. So I kind of got used to that not being a thing I had to worry about accidentally doing. <laughs> Using a grab on the Yuki model enemies is always going to look ridiculous. <laughs> Yuki just went flying from the Zuna drop. You knew he would die and you didn't save him this time. There's another stage for that. You may skip, honestly, because it's mostly just this stage again, only with Huang Zhong not dying. I think even the cutscene still plays. I haven't used Looming enough. I love the disrespect from the last hit on this grab. Where he just flings the enemy behind him. It's like, you're no longer a concern to me. Goodbye. You can get a thousand kills in this pretty easily. How is Samurai Warriors 3E? Uh, Free Empires? Uh, actually, I think it's my favorite Empires game, and it kills me it wasn't released overseas. Like, not even sub only. Like, I enjoy it because it's got, like, an actual story mode that's actually fun. It's got a bunch of what ifs. And it focuses uh, on characters that normally don't get a lot of screen time. Like the Oda story mode basically focuses on Toshie, Ranmaru, and Hanbei.
Though I've played five stories so far. The uh, the Oda, the Takeda, the Usugi, the Date, and the Tobi. I like the Date story the most. That was by far the most unique. The Date story was basically, what if Masamune didn't join Hideyoshi when it came time to attack Odawara? And he formed an alliance with the Hojo instead. But the enemy users are moves, so they can be very threatening in this. <laughs> Samurai Warriors 3, good now. But that particular iteration of it, I enjoy playing. Needs a Warriors or Empires. Empires. There, there really should be one. I don't know why they haven't tried that. I can only assume it's because they don't want to try to, fi to figure out what a map of this world is like. <laughs> the only good reason I can think of why they wouldn't. The downside about playing these uh, Warriors games, the newer war games, especially in harder difficulties. God damn it, I did it again! Okay. I've gotta get used to not doing that. <laughs> it's it's the options button that's the pause screen and every other. We're not playing that stage again. Damn it! Uh, I panicked trying to save because I wanted to. I wanted to do an, an interim save. Because he was about to kill me. <laughs> ah! Alright, let's move on to the next stage. <laughs> you lingus Kirk. Okay, let's see. I haven't played Jung the Hour Sack on yet, so we'll go with this fragmented team. Why not? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just gotta get used to that. Alright, I'm not gonna read all these. Basically saying the party split up. I think they went back in time. Now they're trying to rescue everyone. Sajim is out trying to rescue all the, the Jin people. Apparently Sakon is part of Jin now, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, use all these characters so they're well equipped. PS3. I'm actually playing on PlayStation 5, but this is the PS4 version of the game. But the PS5 can play that, so I was playing it on that. Which is part of why the controls are really throwing me off, because it's a different controller from what I'm used to. But the PS5 runs better, so... Yeah, I've had a PS5 for a while, dude. Second has some good elemental attacks. And his R1 is just cover fire, essentially. I think it's air R1, both his attack speed. Yeah, it doesn't look like it applies a buff, doesn't it? I've got City of Flowers playing. Nice. 
or it sounded like it. No, nah, this is a different song. That little bit sounded like it. I like Sekon and Young Liao just grinning. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. That the cutscene essentially cancelled by Musou with Young Liao. And you get damage really quick in this game, don't you? And to get used to pressing the touchpad correctly. <laughs> Emmer Joel just sweet talking Yuan Xiao the entire time. Why did red hair spawn in the in the moat? <laughs> trying to get in the moat to get red hair, please. <laughs> It's open to go after Don Duo first, but I'll save it. Save it. Or, uh, Yuan Xiao first, but I'll save him for last. <laughs> the newer Warriors games are essentially just. Deal tons of damage to the enemy before they deal a ton of damage to you. I guess this is why they have elements like absorption in, where you can just regain all your HP and simply not have to worry about it. Oh, she actually has a line for it if you ignore going after Yuan Chao. Oh, Coloco giving out five memberships. Thanks. Yon Chao doesn't really move in on you. He just kind of sits there, doesn't he? Oh, well, I guess he was fighting someone. <laughs> It's the same hearing Don Duo when it's not Richard Epcar.
Stop hurting your husband. You're Nimia's wife now. That's impossible. I'd appreciate you not interfer interfering with me trying to kill your wife. It's kind of messed up that Zhang Wei led the attack to try and kill everyone here. So I guess, I guess if anyone would be bastard enough to do it, it'd be Zhang Wei. <laughs> Meanwhile, with the Muso activated, you got nothing to worry about. You're invincible. I'm just deliberately trying not to kill Yuan Shao to get more dialogue. But I did. <laughs> in that mess of attacks, I couldn't really pay attention in. Yuan Shao was such a progressive thinker. <laughs> Say what you want about him, but the man clearly does not see race. <laughs> I do kind of like Yuanji's uh, Japanese voice actress more than her English one, honestly. She sounds way more sensual. Alright, Taishi, see, you were here. <laughs> Taishi's just like, I'm part of Jin now. <laughs> The, yeah, all these weapons are maxed out, now this matters. Alright, it's weird we weren't seeing any characters uh, around when I was playing as others. At the camp was just barren when I was running around as Hanbei and Yukimura. I believe I've already heard all the conversation dialogues of these characters, though. Or are they here just because I played the last stage? It is all the characters from that. I think normally the camp just shows all the people you, this, uh, whoever you're playing as has bonds with. And I think Tekken just has bonds with everyone in that first stage, because they do that a lot. Oh, these characters have one stage together. Let's have them form bonds with these characters specifically. Uh, this team seems fine. Odawarajo,覚悟するため、竹中半兵衛は過去に戻った。そこはどうこうかつて半兵衛は黒田半兵衛とともに同行の守備に当たっていたあの時。Oh. And this is Hanbei going to help out his team. It also includes Jin characters. Japanese young guy doesn't sound near as deep as I feel he ought to. His English voice is deep. Hmm. Um, but you just you know everyone here is like on the cusp of dying horribly to a hydra and you're just like ah, I'm just gonna take a nap that's yeah weapons are good ah yes yeah, the first arena
I do really like this scene. Without prompting, Dungai just comes over here to help him stretch. Oh yeah, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but you may have noticed everyone's in red and black colors. Uh, Wars Archer 3 actually has a color editor, and red and black is my favorite color scheme, so I just put everyone in red and black. <laughs> and it reflects on uh, enemy officers as well. Not generic ones, of course. Although it does for the Yuki and Dodameki generics. Yashu is our enemy, and running his own army, apparently. <laughs> oh yeah, don't guys. Some guy's basic S frame, he just break guards. Some of the mystic weapons look alright, some of them just just look like big toys. Like dung guys and his light blue drill lance. Will they ever do Muso Battlefields? Absolutely, I fully intend to. Oh, Genji is part of Joshua's army. I don't remember them just being enemies to fight. Like, not being mind controlled. But yeah, I was actually uh, meaning to say, I was gonna bring it up at the end of the stream, when I play at least one of the Muso Battlefield stages I already have saved. Uh, but if you guys want to make Muso Battlefields, I'll actually play them at the end of these streams. So long as, uh, there's no, like, word censorship checker or anything like that. <laughs> so you can write any kind of word you want, and, uh, don't write anything that would get me banned from YouTube. <laughs> That's the one caveat to if I were to play any Muso Battlefields you guys make. If I see any, like, dialogue I don't like seeing, <laughs> then I end the stage right there. <laughs> and ban you from my channel. <laughs> Yeah, I believe all you'd have to do is just tell me your, uh, your username and I'd be able to find your stage. I can't imagine many people upload Muso Battlefields nowadays, so it'd probably just be at the top of the list I could find it easily. But yeah, since I'm playing on PS4, you would have to... Oh, I guess I want a PS4 copy of the game. I don't think the PS3 version would work. Unless, is Ultimate available on PS3? Who plays PS3 nowadays, anyways, aside from me? But yeah, if you guys want to make some Muso Battlefields, then just write your PSN name in the comments and I should be able to find it. Unless there's another way that uh, you can point it out. <laughs> oh, it's two swings and Genshio was taken out. I wasn't even trying. Yeah, it's on PlayStation. Ultimate version was on PS3? Okay. So then either on the PS3 or PS4 version of Warriors Archer 3 Ultimate, I should be able to play any Muso Battlefields you guys upload. 
I do have some of my own that are already saved on here that I'd like to play, because I haven't seen them in forever. I'll probably, just to show what they're like, I'll probably play one at the end. Okay, they're attacking because they think we're supporting demons, alright. One guy's just running away. Okay, now he's starting to attack again. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, he didn't grab me. We're good. <laughs> grab from one guy on Chaos is basically you're dead now. Save before the grab ends or replay the stage. How many three way battles we see early on? I think just the nature of Dungai's weapon allows him to trigger multiple critical effects. And his R1 is essentially his R1 Muso, where he does the arm breaker. This is Air R1. Okay. Just aims down and drills the enemy. What am I supposed to get across to get to the other side? I hope it's not all the way on the other side of the... Or are they coming to me? That also works. I feel like Kimiko was like going off to fight them. I mean, I guess I may as well wait over here if Kimiko's gonna come to me. Well, no. The ships take a while to traverse. I may as well go over there and take out Joshu. This stage has a lot of waiting around, doesn't it? It has been a while since I played this, and I do not retain memory of these games very well, apparently. Or most games I play. That's used in hyper mode. Actually, he's not taking any damage. I thought he just blocked my Muso before. Oh, it's because he joins us. All right. I like how they knew the player could just kill him instantly, so they had to make him invincible. 
Oh, we went straight from arena to superior. I love he's got the helicopter spin R1. That's great. I want to find a mountain to throw him off of. <laughs> See, Don Go is pretty elevated, isn't it? Dodgy, you just like my plan will totally work. Wait, why are they all friendly now? <laughs> That's basically every plan of Dodgy's. He's just like, this will obviously work, and be like, why didn't it work? Oh, you can take out Joshu as long as Hanbei doesn't reach him. Okay, so I guess playing as Hanbei, that would force him to defect on the spot. I think I've always played this stage with Hanbei. <laughs> I love the spin! Ah, you can't control it at all! <laughs> it accomplished nothing, but I had fun doing it. I love he can just lift up the Yuki Jacks. But here, come on. I know you're right there. I can see you on the map. Get over here. There we go. Alright, let's try that horse trinity. It spawns three red hairs. Horse Trinity was added for Warriors RG3 Ultimate. It's it's not really necessary, honestly. It's less flashy. It's mostly just if you wanted to Trinity enemies, but not actually bother to get off your horse. I don't use it very often because of that. How many hours will it take to get all the five star and similar weapons? Uh, a lot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the exact number offhand. Uh, check my Mystic Weapon Guide playlist and count up all the time in those videos. I can't remember. I think Mystic Weapons were the only ones with five stars. Or there were... I think there were some X Weapons that were like only available in, uh, in Gauntlet mode. They are also five stars. I think some of those could actually be better than the Mystic Weapons. And there were some, like, big star weapons. They just have a big star. <laughs> See, I actually had a list of, uh, stages I was going to play. Let me consult that. Okay, yeah. We'll do Tidorigawa next. 
Because that was the last of the one star stages. Now we'll do Tigori Gawa. And then I guess we could do the read up stage of Yi Ling. <laughs> Maybe finish that one properly. <laughs> or we could skip the read up stages because they're not very interesting. A lot of them are just like the same stages before, but like one difference. Eh, yeah, we could probably just skip that. But, uh, generally what you have to do is, like, you play a stage, and then you unlock an extra stage. And then when you beat that extra stage, then you can press triangle and play the Redux version to save whoever died in that initial stage. Using whatever completing this stage changed. We'll go ahead and do this one. Yeah, it's pain they just remembering. Oh yeah, I ran across demons at Tedorigawa. Hey, we just got rid of them. But the goal is to obtain a siege weapon we can use to break down the gate to rescue Huang Zhang in the next stage. Well, my die is only level 56. I uh, can't distribute BEXP from here, can I? Uh, let me go back then. Jeez, look at Iyasu in that concept art. <laughs> he looks like he has seen some shit. His mustache is massive. I usually try to keep my growth points around, like, like, halfway to the cap. I remember passing by some demons that were go. Let's go back and steal their shit. Yeah. This is, uh, let's see, he's got Osmosis, Jolty Slave Frenzy, yada, yada, yada. Uh, that's probably all fine. No absorption, but whatever. Oh, these guys have absorption, cool. Some characters are just really good on the horseback. A ton of range can rack up a ton of damage. Oh, these ball ballistas can actually be destroyed. Nice. Oh, never mind. They just have health bars for show. And now I can use it. They really liked these ballistas, didn't they? Enough to essentially make a new ballista type in this game. Which we'll see much later. I think like chapter three-ish? And Kagi is another new character for Warrior Dirty 3. Who also attacks with plants. Although she uses one plant and a mirror. Not three mirrors. Rizet's not bad. She's just an incredibly boring character that I don't really like to play as her. Let's see your Muso attack. I don't use this very often. Laser spam. Pretty good for damage, honestly. And comboing. Even after they were dead, they couldn't escape that. Even riddled by these arrows, though. Oh, 
<laughs> you never touched Kaki after trying her the first time. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. He's just a very standard character who is essentially just here to be a plot device. He does develop some relationships, but they're all boring. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Mondai's Japanese voice. Although it does kind of sound like Yuan Chao's Japanese voice. Did I just go across the water to that? Yeah, okay. You couldn't do that in the original Samurai Warriors game where you play this stage. And this is really when archers started being annoying again, isn't it? Because <laughs> they weren't really a, an issue in Nazi Warrior 7. Although I guess I didn't play Nazi Warrior 7 in like the hardest difficulty. I am really shooting anything with that. There's armor to counter at the archers? Yeah, that makes sense. It usually is. They always have Ma Ting as the replacement general for Ma Chao. It'll be really awkward in one particular stage involving South Cao. What's that R1? Oh, he's buffing himself, okay. His air R1 is an actual attack. Of course, make me manually pilot this thing. Sure. You can just destroy the gate with an event, huh? Oh, you make it take multiple hits, too. What destructive force, he says, as if he's never seen a catapult before. If we can land the grab on Yuki. Nice, we did. Achao's Muso kick can really shred enemies. I believe to use Kage's R1s. Right, I believe her R1s are pretty spammable. Yeah. It leaves her in the air and then you just use her air R1 to fall down. Now Kage just hops in the pilot seat of a ballista and starts mowing down troops. 
no expression on her face. It feels nothing. Are there? I believe I said earlier. There's one to five star, and then there are big star weapons. I believe the big star weapons you can only get in shops. Which range from uh, actual weapons to straight up joke weapons. They have really low power outputs, but they have high like bonus damage once you raise the compatibility with them. Kaguya's horse move set is awful. <laughs> yeah, Sages with a lot of archers can be very deadly, can't they? Just blink away at your HP. Stop shooting me! <laughs> I don't remember Mondai's moves it enough to remember which of his attacks produce those little ink bubbles that he can explode. Oh, they got juggernauts too. So just because I saw the Juggernaut open its mouth about to shoot me. Although they may have joined me now, I can't really tell. Oh jeez, the archers! Stop! Just chill out! The Juggernauts are definitely the least impressive of the weapons you can control. They're so slow to actually kill anything. Well, I guess if you line up a fireball, they're not bad. Yeah, he was midair. Pretty gauge is already filled up again. Wow. And slam. Where's my man Hawk knows the Mighty Sorcerer? Unfortunately, like, after that one stage in Warzer 2, or one, I think it was in one, Hawk no does, doesn't ever become the Mighty Sorcerer again. <laughs> Definitely doesn't have that funny voice. <laughs> Alright, so they're saying to go back to Yi Ling to rescue Huang Gai now, or Huang Zhong now. I am opting to not do that. Ever, we will be going back to Yi Ling. Because there's a different stage we can play. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, here's some big star weapons. You can see just because they have one big star is why they're called that. <laughs> some of these are weapons from... Other Dynasty Warriors games. 
And some straight out joke weapons like might is right. Ah, uh, the pun on that. <laughs> I kind of like this weapon now just for that stupid pun. <laughs> Pick all random again. You know what? Sure. Got Jigadon. I guess I can work. Don't see. Fine. And Nemia. All right. I think it's fun to play. The Jigadon. Ooh, you don't have any elements applied to your weapon. I do not use you much. All right. Back to the blacksmith. Oh, what is... Oh, he's got an X weapon. Okay. That's why. Uh, yeah, I guess... I guess all those are fine. Sure. What does Nodzi have? Uh, yeah, he, he's pretty well equipped. Nimia? Yeah, I play you a bunch. Make sure to equip him with the X weapon, not the Mystic one. Yeah, because, like, often, like, Mystic weapons will have more power, but I think some Etz weapons have more. So some Etz weapons are better than Mystic ones. But getting a bunch of Etz weapons, like, uh, involves playing a bunch of Gauntlet mode, and, uh... That's not really that fun. And we'll play the Breakthrough at Yiling. This is a new stage that was added. I forget, uh, which update specifically added it. But it's basically just an uh, introduction stage for Shuju. Yeah, this is basically like if Shuju had showed up before Kaguya had, uh, Warts you back in time, and Juju essentially resolves Yiling. I probably should have leveled up. You could die. Ah, well. That'd be fine. Maybe. <laughs> The new stages usually have gut things. <laughs> See, Huang Zhong is fine. We didn't need to go save him. Look how much I was wielding a spear backhanded there. That's such an awkward way to swing a spear. Well, one hit from an arrow really hurts. You're done. Alright, <laughs> Zootsi's Muso has been changed from how it functions in, uh... The Last Warrior's Urge game. It now functions like a Dynasty Warrior 7 moveset. Where you can't hold down the button and keep it going. His moveset is also, uh, a little bit glitched. Like, the hit range is just off on certain attacks. His air R1 is definitely better than his round R1. Oh, 
Nimia has a moveset that might be familiar to some of you. Although I guess a lot of his attacks have changed from the... from Handan's moveset in Dance Warriors 8. And he has his own Yes attack. And his own Muso. Hopefully, won't get one shot at Jugadan here. I believe Jugadan's kept the original uh, fan move set. Yeah, Nimia is the original user of the short bike moveset that Handong eventually gets in Dance Warriors 8. Because it was originally a DLC weapon that was released with, uh, in Dance Warriors 7. And just did get an actual character assigned to it. So it was just given to Nimia. So they effectively didn't have to design a proper moveset for Nimia. He does have some more Nimia-esque attacks, however. Like that lightning beam he can shoot out. Nimia is all about lightning. He definitely swings the pike with more finesse than Handong does. I guess we're still leaving Huang Zhang to die now. <laughs> Those these Muso can really shred enemies, though. You can kind of tell when using Woodsy's uh, Charge 5, or Charge 6. But the explosion is right on him. It should be a little bit in front of him, so you can use it to, like, hit enemies you're aiming at, not ones that are rubbing up against you. Alright, I guess a lot of people don't really know <laughs> what Nimio is from, do they? Yeah, Nimio is from a series that uh, I believe Koei owns called Zil Ol. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's got like an apostrophe between the O and the L with the second name. Uh, it's it got a new game released for the. Well, it's not really new anymore. Its newest game was released for the PS3, which was around the time this came out. So it was basically just another property that Koei had that they were able to take characters from. I don't believe it sold very well. I have played it. I actually uploaded all the all the cutscenes for it, I think. And it's okay. Very mediocre. Nothing really stand out about it. But for the people that didn't play Zill Ol, it's cool to see Nimia there. He was a fairly important character, I guess. 
Kind of weird they didn't use the main character of the new Zillow game, but I guess they used Nimia because he was in all the Zillow games. Which I believe originally started on the PS1. Captain, fuck you, the story's great. It's okay. I enjoyed it when I sat through it, sure. There's a reason I've never replayed it, though. Eight to see get some of his moveset change. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, this, uh. This is just straight up do it see from Dynasty Warriors 5, is what this is. I'd like to use Yugodon and get more kills for him so he actually, you know, gets EXP, but it's just so dangerous. He could probably take, like, two to three hits and then he would die. If it was from an officer. I believe the stage is about over anyways. Wong Jong is actually winning. I really don't like Madai's Japanese voice. One Musa from Nimia ends up. I thought Juju kind of... Kind of saves Yi Ling here, but I guess he doesn't. He was kind of just here. <laughs> I'm a Koei connoisseur, unfortunately. <laughs> he more just shows up, and now I'm going to kill everyone here. <laughs> Is Sturk a Koei character? Sturkenberg? Yeah, he is. Sturkenberger. I believe this is where you would unlock Juju. Oh, but yeah, Sturkenberger is from the Atelier series. I believe he's in two Atelier games. Uh, I think one is Atelier Totori. No, I'm not, I'm not sure what the other one is. Totori is one I actually played. I think he was in one before or after that, and I didn't play that one.
Let's see, uh, next on the list is the Battle of Shochun. So back to the main story battles. Guess we'll just go random again. Benkei, why not? I get no, I already played as her. Mantai, played as you. Yotai, sure. Jiga Liang, eh. Uh... Oh, alright, that's more interesting. Yeah, your weapons are good. Surprised Binkei's max level, probably just because he's a Warrior's Urge character. I just want an excuse to play as him more. Right, this is him just trying to reach out to Wara. Right, if Moji's hot and good in this game, I agree on both those. You kind of don't want to play as a recommended team a lot of times because it makes the Sage have more variety because oftentimes the recommended team are characters that are actually on the map. <laughs> I forgot Masanori looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone Super Saiyan. <laughs> and apparently charcoaled himself. No, I actually wasn't the one that dressed or uh, made Masanori to look like that. That was actually Captain that did that. Some of these designs were made by Captain, and, uh, his stand out. <laughs> the Ninja Gaiden characters feel pretty good to play, because a lot of the moves are... Basically, they're exact moves from the Ninja Gaiden games. So it feels like using those attacks. Some even require like the same button inputs. I definitely put a lot more care of the uh, Ninja Gaiden characters out of the other crossover characters and making the move sets. Her muso just spin. <laughs> just spin, Jesus. <laughs> I think Vin K is still terrible. I think he only has, like, one attack that triggers elements. I couldn't remember if we actually needed the charge forward or if it was some sort of... 
He reminds me of Ben K when Ben K is right here. All right, Ben K can become a Sky Ninja with there, R1. And Jotai is, of course, still good. Being the resident weave in ancient China. I don't believe there's any R1s that don't cost Muso to use now. Like, Jotai didn't cost any Muso to use his R1s in Wars RQ 1 and 2. Gonna be burning alive, may as well let Ben K be the one to burn. Guy, you can also just hold triangle with Ben K's charge too. You can dig around the ground a bit. See what his Muso is like. Pretty good for damage, honestly. Go here and fight me, though, please. <laughs> like how this particular RG generic is just a lieutenant. The enemies are like all set to just pace after someone. They're just ignoring the actual player. That's a very boring R1 emoji. Their R1's a bit more interesting. One of her Nimpo is being fired off way quicker than it's actually fired off. You kind of have to rely on the air R1s a lot to give your character some recovery. Probably save. You can do you within the middle of doing his Muso. Where did Muso trigger? I'm not sure who did it. Taeyeon Wong. That's fine, he's an ally. Yeah, you don't see it often, but shooting Doji's Muso attack just has him turn massive, start stomping around. Hey, <laughs> 
Okay. Set about two hours in on the stream now. I'll keep going though. <laughs> At least to make up for the stage I... I kept off resetting accidentally. I wasn't sure how long I'd be streaming. Two hours is just my minimum. I'd like to go to at least four, though. Oh, I'm only just trial element equipped. And flame play. Jeez, she got, got some good elements. There are some elements you can get uh, that I believe you can only apply with orbs. That I think you have to play gauntlet mode to get. That essentially combine weapon elements. <laughs> so you can save space and equip more good stuff. Like Flame Slay gives you the ability to activate Flame and Slay at the same time. Nagashino time. No, not yet. Uh, the next stage I have on the list to play is Struggle for Your Way to Castle. Which, uh, let's see, where is that? There it is. The Yuanji Tagan Wong on die. Nah, I think we'll go with random again. Nah, maybe not Sai G at level. Level 24, geez. I really don't play her. That would cost me nice. I like how random keeps landing on the Warriors Urge characters. Uh, apparently, I played Guang Ping a decent amount. This stage, I believe, was added for the PSP release of Warriors RG, which added Seimei Abe and Rachel from Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, for the sage. Wangi Wangi, Ginchio, Hanbei. Okay. <laughs> We're fighting Yuan Xiao again. Hey, more, more Yuan Xiao screen time. I like this wallpaper with Dong Bo. <laughs> Just the casual sit. power type in this game, isn't she? Man, that's so weird. And kind of not great for her, considering she has a fast move set. She really wants to keep moving. Got a lot of range, though. More than she ought to, honestly. Yeah, I think the range for a lot of the characters with Dynasty Warriors 5 move sets is just a little off. Our ones are pretty cool, though. <laughs> Assume he has a move set from the Ninja Gaiden games, or I guess I should say Ninja Gaiden game, considering she's only playable in one of them.
Also, I think the only game where she uses a weapon, and I'm just now realizing we can't attack the yellow guys. Right, her R1 will launch people into the air, and then I guess you're supposed to jump and hit them with the air R1 to kick them back down. Of the Ninja Gaiden characters, I think Kasumi has the least appealing moveset. That said, I think she's the most attractive of them. After Ryu, obviously. <laughs> like, Nuwa and Kasumi, like, fight with a bit of finesse. One ping is just big sword smash. One shot dead. Oh, now I can fight him. All right. All right, Gwen Ping's moveset has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, he's swinging his uh, his great sword more like his original one, which is pretty cool. Now he's swinging it like he can actually properly wield the sword and not just struggling to swing its weight around. And his R1 just somehow makes it massive and then he slams it down. Because apparently you can just do that. One thing I like about Kaguya is that her surprised emote just has her, like, glowing. Like, she's so surprised she can't contain her mystic aura. Try Kasumi's R1. Our Muso. We tried her R1 before. She's a bit hard to see in this mass of enemies. She's crouching down and just slashing wildly. Yeah, that's really hard to aim. <laughs> I feel like Kasumi just takes a bit of getting used to. I do like how her charge one just has her teleport behind someone to slash them up. archers than I thought there were in this game, especially in the earlier stages. Is 
It's a bit annoying they spawn two more enemies just to, just to have you hunt them down. Tells me C4, you have to hold the triangle, but yeah, okay. I knew that move didn't feel right. Yeah. It's because it's emulating that charge attack from Ninja Gaiden. Of course, I almost getting killed trying to use her. I thought in this game you were just able to, like, mash triangle and that would still do it. I like Cosme, but definitely the least fun to play with Ninja Gaiden girls. Yeah, see, so it's a CG cutscene because this was released on the PSP. And the graphics were too bad to have <laughs> to have in-game cutscenes. この in media, Semi Abe is always predicted as just this ridiculous Omyo badass that can basically do anything. <laughs> I like how the demons are just nice to Yuan Chao and he's just like, okay, yeah, I'll help you. That's <laughs> all it takes. Yeah, Seimei's generics uh, have interesting names because they're Shikigami, I guess. I'm curious if their names were something different in Japanese. And the English translator just kind of came up with stuff. Because that's essentially what happened with the, like, snake generics in, or in Orochi's army. They're not called, like, uh, Diamondback or Hammerjaw. Although, likely, they're probably just named after other snakes. I guess Dodomeki and Yuki aren't. They're named after actual mythological creatures, so the other ones may also be named after mythological creatures. I don't know, I've never looked at it. Maybe someone in the chat knows. When Joe just sending cosmic flying. It's kind of a pain to use Kasumi now. Like, I used her fine before, when I was used to playing her, but now that I've not used her in a very long time, it just feels awkward. Oh, 
I see you one shell. It's being easy on us. ならば城の守りに我が指揮を用いるのよ。迷惑をかけた詫びだ。力になろう。軍神の子に負けは許されない。私の指揮が迷惑をかけたな。しかしこの世界も興味深い。ここは私たちにとって生き抜くべき現実
敵が不具合なら味方を増やせばいいわかるまずは豊臣軍と合流しようよこれでは気を示す Unused moveset is still very reliable. The R1 looks pretty cool, too. And of course, this Muso is really powerful. You see, it's Hitnik character, right? Hitnik characters can do like a sidestep attack. I believe. Yeah, after doing a dash attack, you can press triangle, and they'll do their charge two attack. So it can be like essentially a shortcut to getting to the charge two. Not useful for most characters, though. Shin Sai's Muso is basically just an extra powerful shield bash. And her air Muso is another shield bash. It's a master of the shield bash. And of course, she keeps the cat move, so. Yeah, when that ESP fever hits, which drops from a random enemy in the stage. I believe there's two that drop in every stage from random officers. When that hits, you really want to get a bunch of kills so you can get a bunch of plus 300 XPs and level characters up. It's worth that her R1 is basically just her move, so. Just a weaker version of it where she's rolling around like she does for a muso. And make a cat pose at the end instead of the beginning. I guess it's also not a grab, so there's that. And there's another one. Oh right, Shin Sai's R1 is just riding the shield. I remember when I was actually grinding EXP for characters, I would use the way to castle. Because there's a bunch of officers there, a bunch of enemies, and basically no matter where you get the EXP fever to drop, you would be able to reach a bunch of enemies really easily. Ow, jeez. Bukong and his clones really gained up on me there. But one move, so and they're gone. Yes, 
And now we can go and actually recruit on Morrow and Gohai. Buddha Castle is good for proficiency grinding. I forgot that was a thing. That, that's actually probably why I grinded it away to Castle. Probably for proficiency. I'm sure a mind control on Maru is someone's fantasy in chat. I'm sure multiple someone's, honestly. miss that. I mean, still kill them, so whatever, but... Jeez! Red hair, please. Get over here. Where are you? Why are you running from me? Let me mount you. Okay, I thought this cutscene didn't trigger unless Kanoichi got closer to Gibora. Madai just immediately has her figured out. Yeah, Kunoichi's still in her... Oh, I just love Yukimura phase. Which basically only lasted for Samurai Warriors 3. In Samurai Warriors 1, and especially Warriors Urchi 1 and 2, she was basically just her own character. That sort of hinted that she might uh, be into Yukimura. Terror Warriors 3 is just all in on that. Terror Warriors 4 might have shades of that? I don't really recall. But I know it's dropped for Spirit of Sanada. Oh, those actually hurt you for running into them. I guess this is Nagashino. <laughs> ah, jeez. Okay, maybe I'll just keep off of red hair for this little path. The annoying part of the stage. Forgot Kunoichi in SW2. I don't believe I did. Unless you're gonna count her appearance in, uh, what was that game mode called? Sigoroku. Where she steals gold and then leaves. <laughs> ブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレヘアカモンブレ
しいものでしたお救いいただき誠にありがとうございます Yeah, you can more is all better. You're gonna get in the habit of just saving as I progress the stage. Because there's no telling when I can just get instant killed. Last time I was playing Warriors Orchi, I had the benefit of uh, it not being live streamed. So whenever I died, I could just cut that out or replay the stage. And you guys watching would be none the wiser. Can't exactly do that when it's all live. It's a panic trinity attack. I not got knowledge that Zengba isn't with Lubu for some reason? No. I mean, Zhang Liao's not with Lubu either. Zengba is the same as Zhang Liao, he shifted over the way. I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for, weren't they? Like, Zhang Liao was at Shouchun, I believe. Or at least he was with Sima Zhao who went to Shoten. Skip all the dialogue. I kind of am. <laughs> like, I'm leaving it on screen for a little bit for people to see it. Okay, next, uh. Yeah, just straight to Odawara. Have you played Genshi or Hongai? I'm fine with that. But I don't want to play as Kaguya. So I think that should have a Genshi and Hongai. I had to party, yes. Now I just need to change out Kaguya. <laughs> Look at Huang Hai's rendered screaming. And the random is. Alright, Luke Shiren, sure. Why not? Oh, none of them are max leveled. Mm hmm. have just that many growth points to dole out. All right, let me let me get someone reliable. All right. <laughs> Bit of a spoiler to see him so early, but whatever. Give you a few more levels, which is 60. If you try to beat its speed, beat its speed, growth points everyone, you're gonna run out of growth points pretty quickly. Yeah, this is just everyone making it out of Wara. Playing the dramatic music.
There's more playable characters in this stage than I thought. All right, Masashi's here. <laughs> If you notice on the map, Masashi's only fighting like three generics. That's it. Keep that in mind. I forgot Ginchio still has a a normal type moveset for this game. I had in my head she had her hyper type moveset from Samurai Warriors 4. Please land the grab on him. Yes. <laughs> How even? <laughs> oh, Hong Guy's in his nest where six out there for some reason. I guess it's just what I had him set on last time. Oh, nice. <laughs> I love his freaking R1. He just puts up a rock hand. <laughs> Flames burst out. It's great. They made one guy such a meme character. I think his air R1 is a grab. If it hits. And I don't die in the process of trying to use it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> The two low levels are weakened, so I'm just stomp with Susano. Uh -oh. Friendship cutscene, yeah, basically. I forgot this is an OSR R1 actually triggers elements. If he has osmosis, you can just keep spamming this and get it right back. Not all R1s do it, but some of them do trigger elements. Suno has a ridiculous moveset. It is pretty overpowered. I love his charge one, too. Just slam the enemy into the ground. I swear he's able to stomp them, too. But he's not doing it for me right now. I remember, like, either having to mash it, maybe you have to hold it down. Nah, I don't know. Not doing it. Maybe misremembering. It's also possible. Eat speed fever drop when there was no one around to fight. Because of course it did. Oh, 
どっちも絶対に守らなきゃ姫様を助けていただいた恩。Oh, they need to be alive for him to do the stomp, okay. <laughs> Ah, there goes Masashi. Let's see. Who killed him? Goldenrod? Harvest Man? And Tangle Whip. Just three generics took him out. Died like a bitch. There's a stomp. There we go. <laughs> also, I love his stance when he's riding a horse. The casual one leg to the side. Great. Alright then. Alright then. Oh yeah, all the Dinosaur Warriors characters had a uh, jump square attack at it. Because if you remember Dinosaur Warriors 7, everyone only had like one jump attack. Well, I guess it would have been jump square, but now they have two. As they should have by default. And do have in Dinosaur Warriors 8. That's a very welcome addition. Just in case. <laughs> when the enemy just blocks a muso, and everything else you do too. Corpse. Ah, I didn't make it. I didn't think those regular square attacks would be enough to kill her. Oh yeah, one guy is grabs incorporated into his move set now. Since he shares the club move set with Kuju. A lot of the club's attacks change for him. Is there a window you could just jump down from or something? Oh, I guess it's on the second floor, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be? Susanoa has much higher running speed than one guy. 
Oh, no, nope. I guess there's nowhere to jump down from here. Well, that was pointless. Sworn there was. He was taken out for Warriors Archie. Just clear the room. I think I've used that nose Muso yet. It's pretty damn strong. That's some great coverage. I like how even this jump triangle attack is more powerful than usual. Or it's like an earth shattering shockwave. Instead of the usual ground pound. Of course, Yoshihiro just joins the losing side for more fun. Chain Chang went down? Wow. Trying to get kills because I got the EFP beer. It's always annoying when you get on like the last enemy officer of a group when there's nothing else left to kill. Since Shun Chang Chang went down, the friendship is over. <laughs> no longer friends with Kai or Kaguya.
I swear it sounds like one guy is saying shitty magazine whenever you switch to him. He's not, but it sounds like it. Bye, KG. I do love that Susano O's R1 just like shatters the reality. An old man. Perfect to suplex. Or not. Eh, whatever. Well, that one just disappointed. But did Ujigasu really just leave Odawara? <laughs> but I'm not reacting like they, he died there or anything. I forgot you were on this stage, Xiao Kiao. Were they all just marveling at Taikang Wong? <laughs> I do like them just playing around with Jigadon. I forgot we had scenes like this. When the narrator gets tired of narrating, I suppose. This is the most we get is for like a map for the Warriors Orgy world. ヨージャ透明の方法を解き明かす鍵と。
for the war on this queue, she was cursed. That is pretty, yeah. <laughs> Normally they're pretty far apart. Like, I guess not as bad as if it was, like, next to o as if Kyushu was next to Oshu, but... The next I have is Rescue at Tao Shui. But yeah, that was the last, like, required stage for Chapter 1, and then we get to go on to Chapter 2 if we really wanted to. Okay, this is the stage to get uh, Leon Chui back. Or make it where we can play the Redux stage of Nagashino and get Leon Chui back. The, uh, there's some fun with playing as Shang Shang. Close up on guy. 77, that's probably good. The rest will be random. Go high, sure. Eh, maybe not Jinji. Hey, you know what? Fine, Nina's level 100 for some reason. Play Ron Maru. Well, I read that too late. He's got a stage coming up. I like how they managed to, like, fix the mind control for everyone except Leon Chi in that battle. Like, Sun Wukong apparently just decided he was going to take Leon Chi with him. So we have to <laughs> do an entire battle just to get her back. Or to set it up where we can get her back. Is there any funny, unique dialogue? Uh, there is, but... Like, way less. And it's definitely not as funny. A lot of the humor from the first game, or the first two games, came from the English dub having fun with it. Like, they went out script a fair bit. And I, I think it was for the better, honestly. It made so many of those lines a lot more memorable. Right, Shin Shin's got a pretty good R1. Stung up the enemy for a good amount of damage. I thought that was soon Quan for a second. Which Muso did he keep? Uh, he kept the, yeah, the juggling Muso. Which probably means his R1 is the... Oh, never mind. I assumed he'd have his uh, vampire palm attack or whatever it was called. His air one is definitely just his air Muso from Dynasty Warriors 8. Oh, 
How do you shoot arrows up, you know? That's... <laughs> I've seen them rain down before, but... I guess with so many archers, they had to get creative. Your air R1 is more how you would normally use a bow. Get up there, but I guess not. Smart, they just backed off. Actually, I think their AI broke. Never mind, not smart. Oh, they were surprised. It countered as an ambush. Okay. I forgot that feature was still in this. And there's an ambush because I jumped at them from the top of the cliff. Okay, I didn't plan for her to go that far down. All of these setup stages are pretty basic. Like here we're just waiting for enemies to trickle towards us. just falls onto the weapon. <laughs> allies are doing a decent job of actually taking down the enemies. So you don't have to go after all of them yourself. Fever wears out. Nice map clip. Did you guys think I'll enjoy Nice Weird Nine? No. 
that's gonna be torture when I finally get around to playing that. I I don't even know how I'm gonna handle it, honestly. Too much information, Cheng Cheng. I don't believe this amounts to anything. Lianchi trying to be a mole. I think it's just a half-hearted excuse to get you to play the Redux stage. Play every single character in Dynasty Warriors 9? No, that's not happening. Right, let me check the stage list. Okay, next, uh, rescue at Donko. Which sets up the stage where we can, uh, save Musashi from getting his ass kicked by three generics. Okay, that's Joshihiro, Shang Shang, and Kai. He's just a hero in Kai, I haven't used him yet. On Maru and Yuan Chao next. Masanori. Yuan Chao. Okay. Two people said Yuan Chao, so sure. He can definitely carry the team. Alright, uh, I think I did... Yeah, some of the other outfits are also in red and black colors. Uh, the DLC outfits you can't edit the color for, unfortunately. So, that's the main reason I haven't bought any of those, because I prefer, like, the personalized touch, being able to change the colors to whatever I want. I think enemies always use the first outfit, no matter what. Uh, so we'll use his Dungeon Warrior 6 outfit, why not? Some characters just don't have extra outfits. Yeah, I think I kinda like Yoshihiro's second outfit better than his third, honestly. Like, Samurai Warriors 2 compared to Samurai Warriors 3, I mean. The weapons are alright, and... Eh, level should be fine. Yuan Chao can always carry it if he needs to. Who is Kai? Hojo Girl. She's not, uh... Ujiyasu's daughter. She's the daughter of someone in the Hojo. Yeah, this is basically just a setup where Masashi gets reinforcements. Because he literally just can't defend himself. Even though other characters in that stage, including Dung Fing and Xiao Kiao, can fight just fine on their own.
One Shao keeps the default rapier moveset. Well, no. The charge one was already different, wasn't it? So you guys will not give me a second, will you? I was trying to wait before I resorted to R1 spam, and you're just being assholes. Oh no, he's definitely got unique moves. <laughs> Yeah, some of them are reminiscent of his old moves, I think. And others like his charge three are just, here's some Yuan Xiao flair. His R1 is definitely his biggest draw. Because it costs virtually nothing and you can just spam it and laser people. She has a very spammable R1. Her air R1 is not very exciting. Does launch the enemy up into the air so you can hit them with another attack. But she doesn't have very good air attacks to begin with, so. characters like straight up don't remember their moves as our R1. What the flashy effect for that ground pound from their R1. I kind of like just seeing it. Well, oh, Yuki hurts when he hits. And they can just tank my attacks. I think it's because Yuki is a playable character. So he gets like the power type treatment. But maybe the regular Junaids get that too. Not sure. has that effect just part of the regular moveset. Nice. It also means I just reuse that effect. Uh, Dodomeki up the ante from Guki. 
Yuki dropped regular boulders. Dodomeki's dropping flaming boulders. Ow. <laughs> Got caught in between two of them. Who sucks in this game? <laughs> yeah, a lot of characters are pretty good, though. There are some that are just awful. None are springing to mind, but I'm sure there are. This cast of characters, there's, there's going to be some that just suck. But the weapon elements do a pretty good job of fixing everyone. three-hour stream. I was streamed for longer before. I was hoping that would deal more damage and I could just take him out. like a running gag to call Kaya Bear, for whatever reason. The writers seem to find that particularly hilarious and just have everyone do it. In this Sage of Dawn quote, we actually crossed a bridge. I guess that's where your seven characters can actually charge their Muso in this. I'm sure they can't in, you know, that's where your seven proper. So it is just a guarding animation. It's not like they really had to do anything for it. That's where there's a 9 stream for 24 hours? No. I would die. Just keep R wanting and jumping away. You'll be fine as you want, Joe. 
You spam the laser beam. Use the ET attack whenever you want to regain Muso. If you have Osmosis equipped, I don't believe I do. Probably because I felt it made you on Chow too damn good. I was playing Warriors Archie 3 before, I deliberately, like, avoided using some of the most broken weapon combinations. Just because I wanted the game to be more challenging. Nowadays, I don't really care about doing that type of stuff. If I have to balance your game for you, it's your fault. You should have made your game better. I should save it for fighting Himiko. I recall her having some moves that can just kill you outright. Yep, that was the move. Because her Muso comes out so quick with no warning. And you just start dancing and the light beams will just murder you. <laughs> Paying Zelda to stream games he hates is a genius idea. Do not. Please. Just pay me because you want to. <laughs> What did I do before I even consider a Dynasty Warriors 9 stream? Well, Dynasty Warriors 8. That's, that's a pretty big one. <laughs> Samurai Warriors 4. Beard of Sonata. Warriors All-Stars. All the Warriors games I can think of anyways. Oh, right. I forgot I actually gave you one shell the baseball bat and, like, upgraded it, too. <laughs> I just haven't actually used it with them, so its compatibility is low, so it's not a great weapon. You have to grind with it some more. But he doesn't have a bat he can just whip out whenever I feel like it. Uh, let's see, next is Breakthrough Mikatagahara. I believe, uh... Where's it? There it is. Right, Guohai, Ranmaru, Hideyoshi. I already played as Guohai. I should have definitely just used a recommended theme and then backed out. The pain actually hunt down the characters. I guess we'll go with random. And eh, not you get done. You already used you. Yana sure. Why is Hideyoshi level 100? What possessed me to do that? Growth points. Uh, I'm almost probably fine. I think the stage was added for Ultimate, or maybe it was in Hyper. It's really hard to tell, because the game came out, like, two times between Ultimate. Came out on the PSP, which added new stages, and on the Wii U, which added new stages. And then Ultimate came out, which also added new stages. Unless you specifically played the PSP and Wii U versions in order when they came out, you're probably not going to realize which stages were added with which new iteration. Did I go high just join the Oda or what? <laughs> この近くで仲間らしき将が妖魔と戦っているとの報告は本当か。うまく合流。黙れ、かかい。早速行くぞ。<laughs>
Oh, Wang Yi is here. I max level with the most random of characters. Yeah, sometimes. I know some characters are high level just because I wanted to grind them up to uh, unlock their mystic weapon. Like if you had to play them on like a hard stage. Amaru has two buffs he can apply. Ground and air are ones. And the Samurai Warriors characters feel so much faster when they're not in Samurai Warriors 3. And the move sets are normal speed. That said, Ramar is about to get his ass kicked. Right, I remember actually liking Hideyoshi in this game. Because with R1, it's freaking fun. Look at the explosions, it's great. Air R1 is whatever. I can't even get off the horse is almost dying. Looking around Maru has osmosis. I'm trying to use Ron Maru for this stage just because he's the only one that's not at max level, so he's the only one that benefits from getting these skills. Playable by their light blue weapons. Or who is being played, I suppose. Hideyoshi is like, I know this is a retreat stage, but what if it wasn't? I 
Just block that, wouldn't you? I swear the Dodomeki generics love to attack you from behind. Must be the Kotaro in them. I like how Keiji will still fight for Orochi no matter what, even if he's already dead, even if they're just hunting down stragglers of an enemy army. Like, I get that he and Masamune like Orochi, but jeez. I think situations like this take it a bit too far. Booking it. At least Romaro's buffs can be applied quickly. I'm generally not much of a fan of characters that you have to like keep buffing to really use them effectively. Wonder type, okay. I think he needs a power type. I guess just because he feels like one. Beat him before he had time to answer. Oh, hey, Win Young. Weird to see you as a generic. What? Why are you? Why are you on their side? I'm really struggling to figure out why Win Yang would be fighting for Kiyomori. Was he mind controlled or something when Kiyomori showed up? That's the only thing that makes sense. Just say poor Kiyomori 
murder Tron Maru. Give him a big bear hug or something. Please get out of the spot where I can't hurt you. No, I cannot do that. My recruitment time is much later. Yeah, I think Wang Yi gets recruited like chapter 4 or something. Chapter 3. My favorite Japanese voice actor slash voice in the Musou games? I don't really have one. I don't really pay attention to Japanese voice actors much. Next, uh, counterattack at Nagashino. Yotai Shufong Fong Guy. Played all of them already. An alternate version of Nagashino. So we we'll just go with random. Sure, Kanbei, I haven't played you yet. Totoro, yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I deliberately left Zhang Fei at level 69. <laughs> Good Ling Dong. Yeah, all these characters are probably good. Oh, definitely is. Yes. ゲクセンの末、豊臣秀吉、森乱丸、各時を同じくして、同行での戦いを終えた、徐光と昆奮戦によって生まれた新たなる可能性。バタイドロ、同行より透け出しに参りましたぞ。俺では知らも、流しので
All right, Leon is still mind controlled. Totoro, you can just keep doing his charge four and do a wonder dash and just perpetually keep this up, never really be at any risk. You can't do the dash while you're Musa. I don't know why Side Mouth keeps getting banned in the chat, but I'm completely okay with it. I do like that Kanbei's uh, orbs are much easier to buff in Warriors Arch compared to how they are in Samurai Warriors. It takes way too long, especially in 3. Leon Chi still leaves in this version. Did you chill out, Sun Wukong? Alinton's air are one is fun. Just keep kick flipping up into the air. The ones you can spam are really entertaining. ごくが制御しているのです。ごくを撃退すれば溶けるかもしれませんね。おっとやめ。戻れ、戻れ。行きそう。戻れ。戻れ。戻れ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> The cutscene's gonna play in this stage too. This is no reason for it to not.
And the guys in the north are taking forever to kill their enemies. Yeah, I didn't really explore all of Lean Tom's moveset, did I? Pass are so freaking quick. Yeah, that charge sits is very entertaining. He's got a good moveset in this game. It's a shame all these extra charge attacks were just left behind in Warriors Archie. Not to be used in other Dinosaur Warriors games. It'd have been great for Empires to give some variety for the credit characters. I really thought the stage would actually be different. <laughs> But not much about the stage has actually changed. <laughs> Most of the dialogue is even the same. What does Ling Tong have dialogue on this stage? And Kotaro? How did I randomly pick the right characters for this? They're not even supposed to be in the party at this point. ゆき行事に操られていたとは雪村殿が心身ともにまだ術が解けない方々がいらっしゃいますなんとかして<笑> Oh yeah, if people like you, they'll give you a lottery ticket after a battle. Which, like you, just basically means, like, have high bond or whatever. Which you can just take it to a blacksmith, and, uh... It'll give you a random weapon. It's really not worth it. <laughs> oh, I guess it gives you multiple random weapons. But most of them aren't really worthwhile, and then it just means you have to go through more characters' inventories to discard weapons. I've just been sitting on 99 because I don't really care. Anyways, we're nearing four hours, so I think I'll stop with the main story for now and go to play a Musou Battlefield. And then uh, finish the stream on this. Let's see, what party should I use for this? Because I know what stage I'm going to be doing. I peeked ahead on it. I don't want to use characters that would conflict. Here, we use Sirkenberger. I like how you can see uh, Ortietz's scythe and Hundun's wings, like in the foreground. Sure, Sofitia, why not? I guess I may as well just stick to the other characters. Hundun is big and scary and doesn't appear in the main story, so why not? Yeah, like, we straight up won't see Hundun at all in the main story unless I play as him. 
see. Uh, yeah, Battle of Hill Alligate. This is a Musou Battlefield I actually put on the channel before. It was like a Christmas special thing I did. This is sort of show you what Musou Battlefields can be like. Like, it shows all these names, it shows these standard characters that appear in Musa Battlefield, but when we actually start to play, you'll see that you can change them to basically whoever you want. It just won't change the names. The confirm edit contents. Allied soldiers are all the Nesco soldiers, which are the uh, Tales of the Old Soldiers. And a bunch of other things applied. They just make it harder, apparently. Because apparently I was a masochist. Enemy soldiers aggression. Enemy speed. Super powered enemy officers. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> now is the time to sell why is there a hydra outside? Use the Ashori to defeat the Hydra. <laughs> Merry Christmas, South Sal and CBE. In the spirit of Easter, I have scattered eds around the battlefield, filled with gifts. Also, be sure and wrap your secret presents with the Ashori. <laughs> You're seeing the stage much later in the game, but whatever. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. This is when we actually get a different game type. <laughs> oh, is it invulnerable while it's yelling? That's annoying. Because the beam takes so long to charge up. Christmas in June, wait a minute. <laughs> I think I can finish this one off with a regular fire. There we go. How did he get a gift inside the Hydra? And why? <laughs> Unwrap the Hydra. I think it's gonna turn red and yell. Yeah, and then it's invulnerable while it's doing that. You kinda got a time when you use the beam. Or she has appeared. She was our present? What the hell do we do with these? Oh, I wanted Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> hmm. I thought the Orgies were Lubu's gifts. Perhaps there was a mix up. Lou must have gotten CMU's wallet and a copy of PlayStation All Stars. <laughs> Worry not, there are still plenty of gifts my helpers are safeguarding. Claim your presence with violence. Yeah, you can make up basically any dialogue you want. I will obtain the presents and save Easter. It's Christmas. <laughs> Listen here, faggot. <laughs> Free you why. I will risk you whatever holiday I damn well, please. Yeah, you can replace all the generics on the map with Muso officers. To give a lot more variety to who you're fighting. <laughs> 
So each yeah, so caliber six. It is a noon mod installed. <laughs> so the army is holding in advance. <laughs> After that at all costs. <laughs> you know, so we can dispose of such loot material, yes. <laughs> Ryu. It's gonna be my turn, Soul Calibur. <laughs> Soul Calibur 6 of tank. He hides Soul Calibur, sits in his robe. Enjoy my delicious Sturgeon Burkers. I was instructed to kill you if you applied. <laughs> I actually can't remember if I came up with this. <laughs> nice ass. Mine's better. <laughs> I can't remember if I wrote this stuff or if uh, Captain did, because we both made these stages. You can tell I made it years ago if it was me. Ah, yeah, he's up on the cliff, so I gotta go around. Yeah, see, the benefit of if you guys make Muso Battlefields is that I can see all this stuff and be genuinely surprised by it all. So I'm pretty surprised by this dialogue because I don't remember any of it. <laughs> Picture of Sturt's ass was obtained. Morale has risen. That's <laughs> Jane Faye down there. I'm a fucking kill him. <laughs> Just the fact Ryu is saying these sites of lines is amusing. <laughs> Everyone's behaving like this is a white TP. Chile has a copy of Hyperdimension Dunia. <laughs> he said it was gifted by the goddess herself, so I imagine it was given to him by Neptune. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I'm not reading all this aloud. <laughs> Jane Faye was defeated. Why not Bane? That we're effectively stealing presents from all these guys. We're not actually getting them. Lulu's trying to bribe himself in the Smash Brothers Brawl. I'm honestly kind of embarrassed by this dialogue now. <laughs> Apparently I thought this was hilarious several years ago.
<laughs> so many in jokes here. <laughs> I don't know if that line was incorrect or what. Oh, Samune is just here for the eggnog. <laughs> and to break his arm. <laughs> but that looked a bit too fast for me to keep up to actually, like, say it loud, anyways. Especially in the middle of me laughing. I guess it would make sense that I made all the regular allied officers also unique. So all the Ninja Gaiden girls are here. I think we have to get a uh, lower unit for the other gate as well before the wall them. I guess the game expected me to come over here and rescue them sooner, but they kind of rescued themselves. No slurs when we all start making mix up battlefields. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> that was uh that was an in joke we had going on for a while. I mean Captain. And uh <laughs> kinda don't use it anymore. Susan O cracks the code. Susan O apparently just went to an IT tech school. <laughs> you can also give people lines from other characters, so... Give male characters female voices, why not? Love the Orchie theme. <laughs> Said the same line. <laughs> that was Hibiko's line. <laughs> Now where's that egg knock? <laughs> Please don't judge Orochi's voice, he's not feeling well. <laughs> Alright, that's an example of what you can do with Muzo Battlefield. It's not what I would do, it, do with it nowadays, but... <laughs> I started that stage a little bit. I played like a few minutes of it and I was like, eh, that's probably fine. <laughs> Didn't get too far into it. <laughs> or seeing some stuff I'd rather not scream. <laughs> but it was already up. This whole stage is already up on my channel, anyways. I think that was funny enough, anyways. <laughs> Do the Sturk stage left next? I don't know which one that is. I don't know which one you're talking about. Oh, I remember now. Uh, 
I don't know where it is, though. I think it's Battle of Shu Province, yeah. Let's... See, let's... I'm kind of curious, when's the last time someone uploaded a Battlefield? If I go to download Battlefield, uh, let's see, that was uploaded last month, wow. I'm surprised. Wait, it was uploaded last month and it was cleared 793 times? Downloaded 2,000 times? Are people still playing this? Why this one specifically? Because this one uploaded two days ahead of it has no times played. This is weird. There's some shenanigans going on. And how do you clear that stage in two minutes? I feel like <laughs> someone's doing some glitching shit. Yeah, these are still uploaded fairly regularly. Though just random ones, it's kind of hard to tell if they would be good or not. Also, all these PSN names we're going by. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I already hit four hours, so... I think that's good for now. I think I'll save the, uh... The Sergenberger stage. For... Another time. Gonna upload some yourself. Cool. Not funny ones? That's fine. They don't have to be funny. As long as they're entertaining. Just uh, let me know in the comments and I'll play them after the stream. Or uh, once I'm done playing uh, the main stages. I don't expect too many people will do that, but I figured at least some people would want to. And I'll be interested to see what all you guys could possibly come up with. You guys really want me to play that, huh? Uh, fine. Fine, I'll play it. I don't know who to play as, though. Sure, Himiko, why not? Or GX, why not? Juju, yeah. That's a fine team, why not? Right, after this, it's done. Pretty sure it's Battle of Shoot Province. the edit contents. Allied soldiers are all peasants. Wow, Chad is not gonna like that. <laughs> the enemy soldiers are all French. Chad is gonna love that. Third party? Ninjas. Why not? And just enemies harder stuff effects. Forward peasants, my French senses are tingling. <laughs> Defeat the French army in the area. Joan of Arc immediately the first enemy. Was woman like that. And I was right, uh, jokingly referring to Guan Yu as a female before. Mirror match here. Wow, uh, Himiko's Moso can just keep going up. Just keeps going. 
<laughs> Fine, Jane Fei. Princess. <laughs> why is... Why is Zeno so bright? He's white skin and he's so blinding. units in high spirits. Of course you would tell me to play this. You use R1 is pretty ridiculous. Man, that arrow spam lasts forever. He's dressed in all purple, but... <laughs> Juju does have a really fun move, but... Look the hood up, it feels like you're playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> What even is this stage? It's Muso Battlefield. Which means anything can happen. There's no way to stop a Muso. I was trying to switch off of RDX to retain his Muso, but oh well. I like the music change when you enter this area. You <laughs> watch how just gets the name completely wrong. Okay, I'm not sure why she started the dance there. I legit have no idea why she did that animation. I swear I haven't seen it before. She got hit while I was trying to do her R1. I do love that there's just a setting where you can just make all the enemies French. <laughs> like, this is a thing the game allows you to do. And to be fair, you can make all the allies French as well. Her air R1 is a grab. Okay. I guess that was it then. I don't use it that much.
Juju's Muso is basically just judgment cut. Really, just set up two of his R2s, or his R1s, and you got nothing to worry about. So many enemies. This is a cool stage. The stairs popping in. The ominous music. It's a shame the contents of this particular stage is ruined. Okay, now we need to get her all the way back. Oh, they just set up so Lubu and Ryu can fight each other. Yeah, I didn't think that would just be a straight drop. Hopefully no enemies spawn behind me. Oh, you notice Jang Fei was in blue. Yeah, he's the only character who dressed in the complete wrong colors. His color scheme is blue and white instead of red and black like everyone else's. Prepare to be bullied, nerds. <laughs> Urchie Ant doesn't really have like a full move set, but he kind of doesn't need it. The few moves he has can really just overpower every enemy. Or are you just leading an army of ninjas? I think the Ninja Gaiden characters really did add a bunch of ninjas to the game, didn't it? Yoiman! <laughs> I just beat Goemon to win. He was the true final boss. Yeah, 
Alright, there. Now I'm done. <laughs> the one who created the stage can define the- Oh, yeah. Uh, when you make the stage, you can, uh, it'll ask if you want to use power-up data, is what it asks. That's basically asking if you want it to use the outfits that you currently have that character equipped to. So if you want someone to be wearing the Dynasty Warriors 5 outfit, then just do that. Yeah, and afterwards you get to, uh, review all the stuff and post an evaluation. Let's see, uh, overall evaluation. You can just give it a bunch of stars, or give it no stars. And honestly, didn't enjoy it that much. Difficulty? Uh, yeah, it was pretty easy. Uh, I would say it was pretty serious. Uh, I, w I was really curious what would happen to the sisters. Uh, the message is very unpleasant. I, I didn't like basically any of them. Uh, let's see. These preset phrases you can apply as well. Ah, yes, uh, I feel this applies. The time limit gave it a real edge. And for evaluating, you get a crystal. Now, when you want to make a battlefield yourself, you'll be going to edit battlefield. You can, like, create new, and you can just pick any of these stages. There's, there's a lot. There's a whole lot, and it even includes DLC stages. And when you get into that, you can, like, select the lines that appear, and then you can go to other characters and, like, pick their lines. Like, you just want to replace every single line with Shahadun saying his enemy officer defeated quote. You can do that. If you're incredibly boring. Or you can just make lines yourself. The major downside to this is that you have to manually type them out one at a time. Like that. You can't just, like, stick your keyboard in through a USB port in the PlayStation and type it out. It has to be done like this, which sucks. And you can do the same for battle messages. And then you can see the timeline. And what you change will be in green. And you can change the officers to whoever you want. You want Sima Zhao to be Shahodun? Yeah, that's the powered up data question I've asked. That's basically just asking if you want them to use the costume you currently have them equipped with. Uh, you can change the music to whatever you want, basically. <laughs> you want it to all be arena? Well, there you go. That's a different arena. I guess this is a DLC arena. How long is it? Oh, that's the arena from, like, the survival mode from Warriors RG. That's, that's a literal arena. <laughs> okay, it's because they listed arena as March 1 in this. All right. Huh, weird. But yeah, if you want this to be the track for your Muso Battlefield, you can do that. And elements, like... If you want the time limit for the battle to become five minutes, you can do that, but remember, you have to be able to clear the stage before you can upload it. So, don't do something impossible or you're just wasting your own time. You make all allied soldiers like a particular enemy type, or all enemy soldiers. If you're just a bastard, you can just make them all archers. You know, if you just hate people. There's more interesting choices, too. Tigers and wolves are an option. Uh, let's see, yeah, third party forces. Uh, you can change sound effects too if you want the sound effects from like Dynasty Warriors 2. Or some of the crossover games. 
or just a squeaky hammer. <laughs> Make all sound effects sound like a squeaky hammer. Then ability ones, which, uh... Most of them, I believe, makes the enemy stronger, except these two at the bottom, which can lower enemy morale, which will just make the stage easier to play. You'd rather do that. You can give your own evaluation for it. Then when you save it when you're done in open slot. You have to test play it to clear it, and I think you have to test play it in order to apply the battle messages as well. I think it's kind of awkward like that. Okay, I believe you can also, yeah, you can also make officers tigers and wolves if you just really want to for some reason. Anyways, that's my impromptu tutorial of how to use Muso Battlefield. <laughs> Alright, now I'm really done playing. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys next time.